Finally out of the mountain, on the Grand Line, an unknown island, Lin Wuya stood there with a smile of freedom regained on his face. Fifty years, fifty years, he can finally get rid of the shackles of the system and get out of this island. When mentioning his own experience, even Lin Wuya himself felt a bit of emotion. In fact, he is not a person in this world, he comes from a country called the Earth, because an accidental accident caused him to travel here, which is the world of One Piece. And also comes with a system. At the beginning, Lin Wuya knew that he had traveled to the world of One Piece and had a system attached, which was quite tempting. Because he himself is an orphan, he is just an ordinary office worker in his world, and with a fixed monthly salary, he can basically see his future at a glance. However, One Piece world is different. Here, as long as you are strong enough, you can become the overlord of one party. In addition, there is a system for his rebirth, and the story of One Piece is also very clear. It is not like growing up and punching. Four emperors, kick admiral. But soon, Lin Wuya was not calm, because his system is not like other systems to help the protagonist grow up and open the system, he actually asked him to accept 25 disciples, otherwise he would stay on this island until he died of old age. When he learned of the task assigned to him by the system, Lin Wuya had the urge to choke the system. I am someone who has just crossed into this world, you let me accept 25 disciples. Play with me. I don't even know the most basic armed color and seeing and hearing color, how can I teach it? But soon, the system gave Lin Wuya a handful of sweet dates. Although he won't be right now, the system will distribute rewards, such as Observation Hockey's Practice Master Plan, Armament Hockey's Practice Master Plan, and the strongest of the three Hockey Conquerors Hockey's Practice Master Plan, as well as various powerful physical skills, swordsmanship, etc. In short, as long as Lin Wuya is willing to accept this task, the system will let him grow up as quickly as possible. At that time, Lin Wuya was also faintly moved but when he thought of accepting 25 disciples, he still couldn't bear it. After all, the island he was on was extremely remote, and even if someone came to the island, he might not be able to accept him as a disciple. Therefore, Lin Wuya asked the system if he could not accept this task. The system's answer at that time also made Lin Wuya happy, saying yes, but the consequence is that in the world of pirates, it will not give Lin Wuya any help. In other words, let Lin Wuya fend for himself, and rely on himself for everything. When Lin Wuya heard what the system said at the time, the corners of his mouth also twitched. Without providing any help, it is difficult to say whether he will survive tomorrow, because the small island he crossed over is full of beasts, and he was eaten by the beasts when he went to bed at night. Therefore, in desperation, Lin Wuya agreed to the system to accept this task. After all, it is better to accept the task than to be eaten by the beast. Although the time is a little longer, it is always safe, and he can learn a lot from the system. This is 50 years. In the past 50 years, Lin Wuya has learned a lot through the system. For example, the observation hockey, armament hockey and conqueror's hockey promised by the system are all masters one by one, and Lin Wuya has all cultivated them to ultimate. In addition, Lin Wuya also achieved the ultimate effect through the swordsmanship and physical skills of the system master, as well as various other skills. In short, in the past 50 years, as long as Lin Wuya can increase his strength, he has learned it all the time, and all have reached the top level. In addition, Lin Wuya has also obtained a gravitational fruit from the system. In these 50 years, Lin Wuya has also successfully accepted 25 disciples. Among them are some of the more famous characters in the original works, such as Shanks, Four Emperors of New World is one of his disciples. Buggy, who stayed in the same boat as Shanks, is also his disciple. In addition, Marco is also his disciple who has been instructed by him, and there are also Zoro's mentors Koshiro, Fisher Tiger, and Monkey D. Dragon which is the leader of the revolutionary army in the original book. There are also his disciples in Marine, such as Smoker, one of his disciples, in short, there are all kinds of people. And these disciples of self-taught have made a lot of achievements in pirate world after they came out of the mountain. For example, the red-haired Shanks, originally he became the four emperors when Luffy was about 12 or 13 years old, but now he has grown into four emperors six years earlier. There is also Smoker. In the original book, when Luffy went to sea, he was still a little general stationed in Logue Town, but now he has grown up Marine Vice Admiral. Another example is Koshiro. Because of Lin Wuya, the East Shin Dojo he created is not limited to East Blue, even the world is famous. In short, every one of those disciples who have been mentored by Lin Wuya has a very high achievement after going down the mountain. Standing on the top of the mountain, Lin Wuya gave his hands behind him. As for him, he was looking at the sea in the distance. Fifty years of time have enhanced his strength, but also changed his appearance. When he came to this world, Lin Wuya was only 30 years old, and now he has become an 80-year-old man. 
A black hair has become snow white, and the whole person exudes the breath of a worldly expert. I don't know what happened to those little guys. Standing on the top of the mountain, Lin Wuya said inwardly. Although he only accepted 25 disciples to complete the tasks assigned by the system, Lin Wuya and them all had a certain relationship with them after a long time of contact. Now that he is out of the mountain, he naturally wants to meet his disciples. Putting his hand into his arms, Lin Wuya took out a phone worm. When the disciples learned to go out of the mountain, everyone left Lin Wuya a phone worm and told Lin Wuya that if he went out of the mountain, he must look for them. But most of these phone bugs died in the loss of time. Now only this phone worm remains, Lin Wuya vaguely remembers that Koshiro left it. Picking up the phone worm, Lin Wuya called Koshiro. East Blue, Shimotsuki Village, Ishin Dojo. The owner of the dojo is a middle-aged man dressed in gray and white clothes. Shimotsuki Koshiro is his name. Koshiro is one of Lin Wuya's disciples. However, unlike the original book, Koshiro's strength has improved a lot because of Lin Wuya's teaching. Now the Ishin Dojo he has created, even if you look at the entire East Blue, it is famous. Every day, countless little guys come to apprentice to learn art first, and the current Ishin Dojo is full of thousands. In the dojo, Koshiro was sitting cross-legged on a futon. Two little guys were standing there holding wooden swords in front of him, surrounded by other disciples sitting cross-legged on the ground watching the battle. The two standing there are a little girl and a little boy. The girl is about 11 years old, and the boy is younger than the little girl, about 9 years old, with a signature green algae head. Gu Yina, I will definitely defeat you today. The boy held a bamboo knife and looked at the girl in front of him with a warlike expression on his face. The girl known as Kuina smiled slightly. He placed the bamboo sword in front of him and smiled at Zoro. You have already lost to me 1997 times, still not giving up. Of course. I'm Roranoa Zoro. The boy yelled, then lifted the two bamboo knives in his hand and slashed towards Kuina. Kuina took a step back, holding the bamboo knife in both hands and directly greeted her. Happiness. The three bamboo knives collided, and there was a crackling sound. Kuina, who stopped Zoro's blow, smiled at Zoro. Although the power of the two knives is good, your attack method like a beast is not good. You can control it. Zoro said unconvinced, and then turned around, swiping the bamboo knife with his left hand and slashing it towards Kuina's shoulder. Kuina tapped the ground with one foot, and the whole person stepped backwards, avoiding Zoro's blow. Seeing Kuina dodging, a look of unwillingness flashed across Zoro's eyes, and he held the bamboo knife in both hands and attacked Kuina again. Although his offensive is strong, his style of play is too fierce as Kuina said, and he doesn't have much skill. Therefore, every attack of Zoro was stopped by Kuina. Damn it! Zoro bit his tooth crown and he couldn't suppress Kuina even with such an attack. Gestures two bamboo knives, Zoro once again attacked towards Kuina, but Kuina slammed close to Zoro at this moment, and then she pierced the bamboo knives and pointed them at the two bamboo knives in Zoro's hands. Bang! Two bamboo knives were picked up by Kuina and flew away at the same time. Zoro's face changed and he hurriedly wanted to grab the bamboo knife, but in the next instant, Kuina's bamboo knife landed on his shoulder, only three centimeters away from his shoulder. You lose. Zoro. Kuina smiled at Zoro, and then took the bamboo knife in her hand from Zoro's shoulder. Damn it. I lost to you again. Zoro was unwilling to face, challenged so many times, but couldn't beat Kuina once. Looking at Zoro's unwillingness, Kuina smiled and said, Although you lost to me again this time, you have improved a lot from the last time. If your previous offensive was more fierce, I'm afraid I won't be able to hold it. But Zoro obviously didn't listen to Kuina's words, he just said it simply as Kuina's safety. Huh. If you lose, you lose. Zoro is not someone who can't afford to lose, but I won't give in like this. When I become stronger, I will challenge you again. Zoro snorted coldly, then turned around and picked up the two bamboo knives on the ground that were picked up by Kuina. Koshiro looked at the reluctant Zoro and couldn't help shaking his head. This little guy is still as stubborn as ever. However, this little guy Zoro is really talented. Even if he has lost to Ji Yu Yina many times in a row, it is undeniable that his talent is high. Having opened the dojo for so many years, Zoro is the only disciple he has ever seen with the qualifications of a great swordsman. It shouldn't be a problem if he becomes a world-renowned great swordsman after some experience. As for the daughter Ji Yu Yina, Koshiro sighed secretly. Although she is very talented and has defeated Zoro so many times, it is a pity that her daughter's advantage will gradually disappear as she grows up, and she may not be able to pass it. How long will it be surpassed by Zoro? If it's a teacher, I don't know if this problem can be solved. Koshiro thought inwardly. When it comes to the teacher, Koshiro also feels nostalgia. 
When he left Wanokuni, he encountered a shipwreck on the way, was washed to a remote island, was rescued by the teacher, and then became the teacher's disciple. That was his most precious time so far, and he was able to achieve this because of his teacher. I don't know when the teacher will be out of the mountain, I really want to see him. Bluebrew. Just as this thought flashed through Koshiro's mind, a phone worm that Koshiro had placed on the side for a long time suddenly rang. This phone worm is used by Koshiro to contact the teacher. Since the establishment of the Ishin Dojo after he went down the mountain, he will always carry the phone worm and place it in his most prominent place to prevent the teacher from going down the mountain to call him and he can't receive it. And today, the phone worm that hadn't rang for several years actually rang, which made Koshiro's heart tremble. Is it a teacher? Picking up the phone worm, a voice of vicissitudes of life suddenly came from the other end. Is it Koshiro? Down the mountain as a teacher. Hearing the voice from the phone worm, Koshiro stood up directly on the ground, and the expression on his face changed from the previous indifferent to consternation. Damn it! What a teacher! The teacher is down! Koshiro's mood at the moment can be said to be shocked, and it is no exaggeration that the teacher went down the mountain. While shocked, Koshiro was also a little flattered in his heart, because many brothers left the teacher with phone bugs, but the teacher went down the mountain and contacted him. What does this show? Doesn't it mean that the teacher values him most? Up. Thinking of this, Koshiro directly turned to the phone bug, Teacher, where are you now? Where? I really don't know this as a teacher, so let's go. I'll see if there are any villages in the nearby waters, and I'll give you a specific location at that time. Okay, teacher, wait to tell me where you are, and I will leave immediately to meet you. Koshiro said excitedly. Hum, Lin Wuya nodded, then hung up the phone worm and put it in his arms. Koshiro has already been in touch, and other disciples should see them one after another if nothing happens. Look where there is a village first. Turning on observation hockey, Lin Wuya felt around in a circle. Then some subtle noises were introduced into Lin Wuya's perception. There are really people. Lin Wuya smiled faintly. Since there are people, then he should be able to ask what place it is. Launching observation hockey again, Lin Wuya wanted to determine the specific location, but in the next moment, his brow frowned. Don't. Don't kill me. Forget my daughter. I'm the only one. Mom. Mom. Go. There are voices of old people and children, but all of them are scared without exception. Although he has stayed on this island for 50 years, Lin Wuya still knows the pirate world very well. If he guessed correctly, the village should be looted by pirates. I encountered this kind of thing as soon as I came out, this luck is no longer there, so let's solve it easily. Lifting his head, Lin Wuya looked into the direction of the sound, and then he stepped on the ground with one foot and fell to the sea level below, and then stepped on the seawater and flew towards the village. Although Lin Wuya was also demon fruit power, the system helped him avoid the curse of the sea, so even if his feet were stepping on the seawater, Lin Wuya did not feel any discomfort. Ta ta ta. Lin Wuya's speed was getting faster and faster, but he disappeared on the sea level in an instant. At the same time, in that village, the pirates are searching the village. In a house, a pirate walked out of it with some money, followed by an old man in black cloth and linen, and hugged his legs. Please, don't take away the money. This is my money for medical treatment. Go. The pirate snorted coldly and kicked the old man away. Where did the old man endure such a kick, even when he passed out? Please, don't take my wife away. On the other side, a man grabbed his wife's hand, and behind his wife were two vicious pirates. Go away. One of the pirates gave the man a cold look, and then directly lifted the long knife in his hand and swept it across the man's neck. Pouch. Blood splattered, and the man fell helplessly in a pool of blood. When the man's wife saw her husband being killed, she broke free from the pirate's hands and shook her husband's body vigorously. Then he ran to the pirate again and said helplessly, Why do you want to kill him? Just catch me. Why do you want to kill him? However, the pirate was indifferent, and said to his companion beside him, Stun and take it away. Yes. The companion nodded, and then slapped the woman's neck with a palm, knocked her stunned and pressed it to her shoulder. More than these two places, tragedies are staged in every corner of the village. Facing the passing of the pirates, the villagers could hardly fight back. They could only watch the money, wives, and daughters in their homes being snatched away. All that is left for them is despair. In the middle of the village, the 70-year-old village chief knelt there. As the head of a village, he felt more heartache than others. A good village was ruined by these guys. Is there no one to save us? The village chief's face was full of despair. He really wanted someone to fall from the sky at this time, but he knew that this was just his extravagant hope who would come back to rescue them at this time. Lifting his head, the village chief glared at the pirates and roared, aren't you afraid of retribution if you do this? 
Not far away, the pirate leader looked at the village chief who had cursed him, his eyes flashed with a vicious look, and then he turned to a subordinate next to him and said, kill that old fellow. Yes. The pirate nodded, then walked straight ahead, lifted the long knife in his hand and cut it towards the old man's neck. However, when his sword hurriedly slashed the village chief, the pirate's face suddenly changed in vain, and he felt as if his body was under control. This force became heavier and heavier, gradually bending the pirate's body, and then with a bang, his whole person directly hit the ground. Suddenly, the expressions of everyone including the pirate leader suddenly changed, and then they all turned around and looked behind them. An old man with a crane and a fairy bone was pacing up there. The old man walked slowly towards this place, while smiling on his face. Are the current pirates behave like this? The old man is naturally Lin Wuya. Looking at the dead people on the ground and the innocent villagers killed by the pirates, he frowned. The pirates' behavior is even worse than the original description. Who are you? The leader of the pirates stared at Lin Wuya. Even though the opponent was an old man, he didn't dare to care at all. If he guessed correctly, it was this old man who caused the subordinate to be pressed to the ground just now. Are you asking me? Lin Wuya smiled, and then said, I'm here to ask for directions. Ask for directions? The corner of the pirate leader's mouth twitched slightly. Only when I believe in you will there be a ghost. When is it bad to ask for directions? He asked for directions when he was plundering the village. Are you so easy to deceive me when I am a three-year-old child? Old stuff. I advise you not to be nosy. We are members of the evil wolf and pirate group. If we provoke us, our boss will not let you go. The pirate leader turned towards Lin Wuya, and even in order to frighten him, he moved his pirate group out. However, his threats obviously didn't help, Lin Wuya still had a calm expression on his face. He smiled at the pirate leader and asked, Wolf pirate group? Is it strong? The pirate leader thought Lin Wuya was scared, and he straightened his chest and said, Of course, our evil wolf pirate group is the top three pirate group in this sea area, even if Grand Line has been there. I've been to the Grand Line, that's a more powerful pirate group. Lin Wuya thoughtfully. So I advise you not to be nosy, otherwise it's not worth losing your life. The pirate leader said coldly, Don't worry, I won't be nosy. Lin Wuya said with a smile, and hearing what he said, the pirate leader was also happy in his heart, but what Lin Wuya said next made his face gloomy again. But these villagers are innocent, let them go, and keep the money you robbed. I saw Lin Wuya smiled at him. Old stuff, toast and not eat fine wine. Then don't blame us. The pirate leader's eyes were cold, and then he waved his big hand, kill this old guy. Yes. Suddenly, dozens of pirates rushed towards Lin Wuya holding long knives. Looking at the pirate who rushed, Lin Wuya shook his head. He was talking about it, but these guys are still like this. Die. Old stuff. The pirates rushed in front of Lin Wuya. One of the pirates shouted angrily, and then slashed a long knife at Lin Wuya's neck. I wanted to let you go. If that's the case, then I can't blame me. Lin Wuya said faintly, and as his words fell, an invisible gravity burst out of his body, and all fell on these pirates. Boom. 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 These rushing pirates didn't even have time to react, they were crushed directly on the ground, and they were dizzy. What? Not far away, the pirate leader looked at the men who were crushed on the ground, his face suddenly changed. He obviously didn't see this old guy making a move, so why did all of his subordinates fall down? Looking at the shocked pirate leader, Lin Wuya smiled and said, next it is your turn. The pirate leader's complexion changed drastically, and he turned around to escape, but he had just taken a step, a huge force of gravity fell on him, and then he knelt on his legs, and slammed on him, on the ground. This is. The power of devil fruit. The pirate leader who was overwhelmed to the ground showed a look of horror. If he didn't know how Lin Wuya caused his men to fall down before, then he knows now. This is the power of devil fruit, and only demon fruit power can do this. This old guy turned out to be demon fruit power. Lin Wuya did not care about the pirates who were overwhelmed to the ground. He walked slowly to the village chief and helped him up, it's okay. No. Nothing. The village chief stood up tremblingly, and said with a gratitude, thank you, gentlemen for your life-saving grace. Lin Wuya smiled and said, no thanks, I'm just a passerby. I saw such a tragic thing happening here, so I helped by the way. Anyway, thanks a lot this time. The village chief was grateful and snorted. For Lin Wuya, it might be just a hand in hand help, but for him, including the entire village, it was no different than saving lives. If it were not for Lin Wuya's help, their village would have been ruined. Lin Wuya glanced at the pirate who was overwhelmed by the fruit of gravity, and then said, They are handed over to you, it is life or death for you to decide. Hearing what the old gentleman said, the village head turned his eyes to the pirates who fell on the ground, 
and then there was a raging anger in his eyes. It was these guys who had destroyed their homes. Kill them. The pirate of damn it. More and more villagers rushed here, some carrying wooden sticks and some carrying hoes, and slammed the pirates fiercely, venting the resentment in their hearts. Although these pirates are relatively powerful, they are flesh and blood after all, plus the dizziness that Lin Wuya used to use the fruits of gravity to press before, and they can't resist the collective beating of the villagers. A dozen pirates were all beaten to death. The pirates were killed. These villagers were not happy, but sat on the ground. They all knew that even if these people died, their lost loved ones would never come back. This was also noticed by Lin Wuya, and he immediately looked around the village. Innocent villagers were killed everywhere on the ground, including old people and strong men. Lin Wuya saw seven or eight dead bodies. But Lin Wuya knows that there are definitely more than so many people who really died. After all, the village is so big, there must be villagers killed by these pirates in other places. It's simply miserable, not too miserable. Looking at this miserable picture, Lin Wuya couldn't help but think of some words that he used to see when he saw pirates. 99% of pirates are bad. It seems that this is indeed the case. Not all pirates are like the protagonists in the original book. More pirates are extremely vicious. In their eyes, innocent villagers are just objects of predation. Who will save my wife? At this time, a desperate cry came into Lin Wuya's ears. Lin Wuya looked up and saw an old woman not far away crying and hugging an old man. This old man is also the old man who was knocked out by the pirate before. What's the matter? The village chief ran over, looked at the old man in the old woman's arms, and asked. Other village names also surrounded the past. My wife just fainted after being kicked by the pirate, and he hasn't woken up yet. The old woman hugged the old man with a crying expression on her face. What? The village chief's expression changed, and the pirates who had suffered a thousand swords even didn't let go of the old man. My wife is already ill, and the pirate was kicked again. If we don't get help, I'm afraid I won't be able to survive today. Having said this, the old woman cried directly, he was just such a wife, if she left, how would she live in the future? The village chief was also at a loss for a while, because he didn't understand medical skills, and he didn't know what to do with this kind of thing. Just when the village chief felt helpless, Lin Wuya came over and said, let me have a look. Old gentleman, can you help? Seeing that the visitor was the old man who had just rescued them, the village head suddenly looked hopeful. He clearly saw the old gentleman's methods of suppressing the pirates before, so he felt that if it was this old gentleman, there might be a way. Let me try it. Lin Wuya said lightly, then walked to the old man's side and squatted down, putting his hand on the old man's pulse. In the past 50 years, Lin Wuya has learned a lot from the system, including medical skills. Because it should not be difficult for Lin Wuya to heal a seriously injured old man. After taking a moment to pulse carefully, Lin Wuya straightened the old man's body, and then patted the old man's back with a palm. The face of the fainted old man suddenly flushed, and then a mouthful of black blood came out, and then he woke up magically. My wife, you are awake. Seeing the old man awake, the old woman burst into tears of joy, and then she knelt directly in front of Lin Wuya and kept kowtow. Thank you old sir. Lin Wuya helped the old woman up, and then smiled and said, no thanks, in addition, even though he woke up, the pirate's kick still caused him a certain amount of injury, so the rest of the time will have to be good for life and recuperation, but also don't worry, you will be fine after resting for three or five days. Hum. The old woman nodded, then turned to her wife and asked, my wife, how are you feeling? It's better, but the body is still a little uncomfortable. The old man touched his still a little blocked chest. I will help you in and rest. With the support of the old woman, the old man walked into the house tremblingly. This time I really thank you, old gentleman, not only for helping our entire village, but also for curing the wounded old man. The village chief walked up to Lin Wuya and expressed gratitude. Others also looked at Lin Wuya gratefully. For them, Lin Wuya is undoubtedly their savior. You don't need to thank you. Lin Wuya smiled slightly, and then said to the village chief, By the way, old man. I want to ask, what is this place? The safety of the village has now been resolved. Naturally, Lin Wuya has to take care of his own affairs. After all, the kid Koshiro is still waiting for him to give him a place. This is Sunset Village, a village to the southwest of East Blue. The village chief turned towards Lin Wuya. A Sunset Village southwest of East Blue? After getting the specific position, Lin Wuya then contacted Koshiro. Is it a teacher? Koshiro's excited voice came from the phoneworm. It's a teacher. The teacher is now in a village called Ziyang Village, southwest of East Blue. Lin Wuya informed Koshiro of the location and name of his village. Sunset Village. I know, I'll pass now. How long will it take? Lin Wuya asked. 
According to the map, it is 300 nautical miles away from me. If I leave now, I will be there almost noon tomorrow. Koshiro glanced at the map, then said, Okay, then I'll be here waiting for you. Hanging up the phone worm, Lin Wuya turned to the village chief and said, I'm sorry, because of some objective factors, I may have to stay here for one night. I don't know if it will disturb you. The village chief was flattered and said, The old man is polite, you saved our entire village, let alone one night, even if we live for a month or a year, we are willing. Then bother. Lin Wuya smiled, Old gentleman, come with me. Hum. Under the leadership of the village chief, Lin Wuya came to the village chief's home. This is a very ordinary house, with some clay bricks on the outside, and some thatch on it, it looks quite impoverished. Because our village is relatively poor, everyone's life is not rich, and the place where they live is very simple. I hope the old man will not mind. The village chief turned towards Lin Wuya, it's okay, as long as you can live in it. Lin Wuya smiled. Lin Wuya really didn't choose where to live, mainly because the simple house he built on that small island in the past 50 years was simpler than the village head's house to a certain extent. In addition, he had seen the situation in the village earlier, and many families lived in houses that were simpler than the village chiefs. Therefore, he naturally wouldn't say anything. Furthermore, he stayed here for one night only. For Lin Wuya, it didn't matter whether it was simple or crude. The old gentleman doesn't mind it, the village chief said with a smile, he thought that the old gentleman might be picky, but now it seems that he thinks too much, this old gentleman is better than he thought. Walking into the house, the village head shouted to his wife, My wife, go make your bed, this old gentleman will live with us tonight. The village chief's wife was an old woman in her sixties. After hearing what the village chief said, she was flattered for a while. She knew that the village was rescued because of the old man. After vacating a room, the old woman cleaned up briefly, and then brought Lin Wuya in. Old gentleman, you will live in this room tonight. It's a bit simple, I hope the old gentleman doesn't mind. No. I think it's pretty good. Lin Wuya nodded and looked at the room. Although it was a bit crude, there was a touch of warmth. Hum. Seeing the old man said it was good, the old woman's face also had a thick smile, and he was really afraid that the old man would mind. Then old gentleman, just stay here, just call us if you need it. The village chief turned towards Lin Wuya. Hum. Lin Wuya nodded and said, and then stayed at the village chief's house. On the other side, inside Ishin Dojo. After Koshiro hung up the phone, he stood up and said to the disciples, Get the boat. Prepare the boat? Where are we going? Daughter Ji Yuyina asked Koshiro. Go and pick up your grand master, Koshiro said excitedly. Master too? Is it the two master father you often mention to us? Kuina asked. In the past, my father sometimes talked to him about the master he met on that island, so there was this person in Kuina's memory. I just listened to my father, but I never saw it. That's right. That's the great master I often mention to you. Koshiro smiled and nodded, and then walked directly out of the dojo. At this moment, Koshiro was very excited and was finally able to see master. After ten minutes, the boat is ready. Koshiro boarded the boat with a group of disciples, and Kuina and Zoro went together. Koshiro was originally not going to take Ji Yuyina and Zoro. After all, both of them were relatively young but they couldn't stand the stalker of the two and wanted to meet Master Tai, so Koshiro had to take them along. Standing on the boat, Kuina asked Zoro next to him, Zoro, what do you think Master Tai looks like? Since he is the master of the master, he must be very old, he must be in his fifties or sixties. Zoro spoke out the way the master had been constructed in his mind. Maybe it's very young, maybe, Kuina smiled. Zoro said, I think it's an old man anyway, Ji Yu Yina looked at Zoro and said, then let's make a bet. If you are very old, I will lose. If you are young, you will lose. The loser will stand for three hours tomorrow. Bet. I'm afraid of you. I can't beat you than a sword, bet I'm not afraid. Zoro put his hands on his waist and looked unwilling to admit defeat. Seeing that Kuina and Zoro were betting with the teacher's age, Koshiro couldn't help shook his head. When do these two really have to compete? Turning his head too far, Koshiro looked into the distance. Speaking of which, he hadn't seen the teacher for a long time, almost ten years. In ten years, the teacher should have grown a lot older. When he first met the teacher, the teacher was seventy years old, and now it has been ten years since he came out of the mountain, counting the time, the teacher should be eighty now. Thinking of this, Koshiro ordered his disciples to speed up the ship's travel speed. Brush. The boat sailed swiftly towards the village where Lin Wuya was located, which is the Ziyang village. As the sun sets, the entire sunset village begins to be enveloped by night, and the villagers gradually fall asleep. The whole sunset village is extremely quiet. 
In the room, Lin Wuya is sitting cross-legged. The daily practice is a compulsory course for Lin Wuya. Even if he has become strong enough now, Lin Wuya has not fallen. Exhale and inhale. After about an hour passed like this, Lin Wuya stopped, brushed his body, and fell asleep with his sleeves. At this time, on an isolated island 30 nautical miles away from Xiyang village, a group of pirates were stationed there. Some of these pirates have one-eyed eyes, and some have a few scars on their faces. Although they look different, the signs on their bodies are all the same. On their chests are engraved with a wolf head pattern. This group of people are members of the evil wolf pirate group. It's all night. Why haven't Bazin and the others come back? The speaker is a 30-year-old man with a wolf head tattoo on his body. There is a visible scar on his face, extending from the corner of his eyes to his chin. The scar is squirming as he speaks, and it looks a little bit terrible. The man is the captain of the evil wolf pirate group, nicknamed the Lone Wolf. At this moment, the Lone Wolf frowned. It is reasonable to say that at the speed of Basong and the others, two hours would be enough to sack the Sunset Village and come back, but it was all night, Basong and the others had not come back, which made him wonder. Get up. Could it be that something has happened? Could it be the deputy captain Basong who saw more women in Sunset Village, so they forgot the time to play, after all, the previous few times deputy captain Basong came back the next day because of this. A pirate said. Forgot the time for playing a woman? The lone wolf frowned slightly. Although it was indeed possible, his inner intuition told him that Basong did not come back this time, and maybe it was not the reason. For whatever reason, go there tomorrow, yes, boss. The next day, it dawned. The lone wolf and his crew got up one after another and stood on the coast. The lone wolf glanced at the sea level. After finding that there was no Samba and their shadow, he said to his men, Get the boat. Go to the sunset village. Yes. However, in five minutes, the boat was ready and then the lone wolf led his team down onto the boat and walked towards the Sunset Village. Sunset Village is not very far from them, it only took two hours to arrive. Boarded the island, but the scene that I saw next changed the face of the lone wolf drastically. I saw that on the coast, the Basong and others who he had sent to ransack the Sunset Village were lying there covered in blood. The lone wolf walked over, checked it, and his face suddenly became gloomy. They were all dead, and they were all beaten to death. Enter the village. Standing up, the lone wolf waved his big hand, and then led his men into the sunset village. At this moment, the lone wolves were extremely angry, and Basong and the others were beaten to death. When the lone wolf led him into the village, on the other side, Lin Wuya also woke up. As soon as he left the room, the old woman who was busy working in the kitchen walked out. He wiped his apron with his hand and said to Lin Wuya, Old sir, you are awake. Hum. Just woke up. Lin Wuya smiled and nodded. I'll get you some water to wash up. The old woman smiled, and then picked up a shabby but very clean washbasin and took a pot of hot water to wash Lin Wuya. After finishing everything, the old woman took a large bowl of porridge from the stove, took out a few plates of pickles, and fished out two hard-boiled eggs for Lin Wuya from the pot. My family is relatively poor, there is nothing good to entertain you old gentleman, I hope the old gentleman doesn't mind. The old woman turned to Lin Wuya, it's good to have rice, vegetables and eggs. Lin Wuya smiled. During the meal, the village head asked Lin Wuya, I don't know where the old man came from. Where is he going for this trip? I'm from a far away place. As for where to go, I'm not sure yet, but one of my disciples will pick me up today, and the next stop should be to him. The village head and his wife are relatively simple people, because Lin Wuya didn't hide anything. Furthermore, this is not a secret, and it's okay to tell them. Since he is the old gentleman's disciple, he must be a very powerful person. The village chief said with a smile. During the day, Lin Wuya's methods of suppressing those pirates could be seen in his eyes. He had never seen such a powerful person, so in his opinion Lin Wuya's apprentice must be also very powerful. I don't know this, I haven't seen them for many years. Lin Wuya smiled. Since the disciples went down the mountain, Lin Wuya has not contacted them, so Lin Wuya really doesn't know how powerful his disciples are now. Is that so? The village chief nodded thoughtfully. At this moment, a villager suddenly broke into the village chief's house, and said with a panic, it's not good, the village chief, another pirate has entered the village. What? The village chief stood up directly, and just came yesterday to criticize the pirates, so why are they here again today? Old. Old gentleman, you must help us. The village head looked at Lin Wuya imploringly. He knew that he had to rely on the old man to resist these pirates. It's okay. I'm here. Lin Wuya gave a relieved smile, then put down his bowl and chopsticks and stood up. Where are the pirates? He asked the villager. They just entered the village, they should be at the entrance of the village now. The villager replied, 
Take me over, it is good. Under the leadership of this villager, Lin Wuya came to the entrance of the village, and then he saw the group of pirates mentioned by the villager. There were a lot of people, more than the number of the pirates yesterday, about 30 or 40 people. Many villagers gathered at the entrance of the village. Some of them were holding hoes and some holding rolling pins. They looked at the group of pirates who had entered the village with fear. They were relieved until Lin Wuya arrived. Old sir. They looked at Lin Wuya hopefully. The reason why they didn't back down was Lin Wuya. They believed that as long as the old gentleman came, everything could be solved, even if these pirates looked better than those of yesterday. Even more powerful, they also believe that the old man will be able to solve it. Lin Wuya naturally felt the thoughts of these villagers. He smiled at these villagers and said, just leave it to me. After speaking, Lin Wuya walked out of the villagers, and then scanned the group of pirates. Although I have never seen these pirates, Lin Wuya recognizes them from the signs on the other side. These people are members of the evil wolf pirate group, and are the companions of the pirates who ransacked the village yesterday. But these pirates obviously didn't care about Lin Wuya, they just regarded him as an ordinary old man. The leader Lone Wolf stood up with a long knife in his hand, pointed at the beaten Basong and others on the ground, and said coldly, who killed them? Hearing what the Lone Wolf said, the eyes of the villagers who came up yesterday suddenly flashed a look of fear. They killed people, but they didn't dare to stand up. They knew that if these people knew they were the ones who killed them, they would definitely not let them go. I killed it. At this time, Lin Wuya spoke. You? The lone wolf took a look at Lin Wuya, then sneered. Do you have this ability? An old man about to enter the soil, killing Basong? Don't be funny. What? I don't look like it. Lin Wuya asked with a smile on his face. Go away, old stuff. Don't hinder me from doing things. The lone wolf was too lazy to get in touch with Lin Wuya's ink, and walked directly in front of him, lifted his foot and kicked towards Lin Wuya. However, he had just raised his feet, and a huge gravitational force suddenly fell on him, and then his whole body was directly hit on the ground like a cannonball. Boom. The ground shuddered. What? The lone wolf was smashed, and his ribs were broken. However, it shocked him more than the scene before. How could there be such a heavy pressure? What is this? He tried to get up, but no matter how he struggled, he couldn't get up. The whole person was like a huge boulder. Lin Wuya knelt down, looked at the lone wolf, and said with a smile, Do you think I look like now? You did it? The lone wolf raised his head with difficulty and looked at Lin Wuya. It's me. Lin Wuya nodded, then smiled and said, Believe it now. Old stuff. The lone wolf looked cold, and then said to his subordinates, Give it to me, kill this old guy. If the lone wolf didn't believe it before, then he believed it at this moment, and let him fall down at will. This method was enough to kill Basong and the others. Therefore, he also gave orders to his men without hesitation. Following the lone wolf's order, the pirates collectively rushed out, lifted the long knife in their hands and attacked Lin Wuya. And looking at the collective rushing subordinates, there was a cold expression in the eyes of the lone wolf. Old thing, no matter how good you are, you have to die. He has learned Lin Wuya's methods, but in his opinion, no matter how strong he is, he is only alone. With so many pirates working together, they can't deal with such an old guy. Let me die? I'm afraid it won't work with you. Facing the vicious words of the lone wolf, Lin Wuya smiled faintly, and then his eyes condensed. Gravity fruit is launched. Suddenly, an invisible gravity fell on the thirty-odd pirates. Boom. 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 Thirty people landed in a group, the sound shouldn't be too beautiful. Here, the lone wolf who had just released his harsh words looked at the man who fell like him, his face instantly froze. This. How is this possible? With so many of his subordinates, all of them were solved at once. Lin Wuya stood up, turned around and said to the villagers behind him, tie them up. Yes. Old sir. A dozen young and strong men brought ropes from their homes to tie all these pirates together. At this time, the village head came over and asked Lin Wuya, old sir. What do you do with these people? Tie them here, someone will take care of it later. Lin Wuya said lightly. Okay, the village chief nodded. At noon, Koshiro finally arrived at Sunset Village after a whole night of accelerated rushing. As soon as he entered the village, Koshiro immediately saw Lin Wuya and ran over with excitement. Teacher, it's coming. Lin Wuya looked at Koshiro and said with a smile. Behind him, the head of the village and the village name of Zayang Village looked at Koshiro who called teacher Lin Wuya, and their expressions changed drastically. They are all East Blue people, and therefore they were recognized as soon as Koshiro appeared. This is the owner of the famous East Blue Ishin Dojo, the swordsman Shimotsuki Koshiro. Such a big man actually came to them, and he was called the old gentleman before. Teacher? 
the swordsman Shimotsuki Koshiro turned out to be a disciple of an old gentleman. My goodness. Among them, the village chief was even more shocked. After learning that Lin Wuya has an apprentice in the morning, he also thought about being a big man. It's just that he didn't expect it to be the swordmaster Shimotsuki Koshiro. This is a great swordsman, and his reputation is well known even in the world. When the village chief and the village name were shocked that Koshiro was Lin Wuya's apprentice, behind Koshiro, Zoro and Kuina secretly looked at Lin Wuya. Is he the master too? Kuina blinked his lovely eyes. This was the first time he had seen this great master, so naturally he was very curious. The same is true for Zoro. Like Kuina, his eyes are full of curiosity. It turns out that master's teacher looks like this. At this moment, Zoro suddenly thought of something, and he thrust his waist in and said to Kuina, Ha ha, Kuina, I said master Tai is an old man, you still don't believe it. Believe it now. Cut. You are purely blind. Kuina curled her lips upset. Blindness also depends on ability. Zoro didn't care about what Kuina said. He laughed at Kuina and said, Remember our bet on the boat, you have to stand for three hours when you go back. Cut. Stand up. Kuina refused to admit defeat. Lin Wuya was also attracted by the quarrel between Zoro and Kuina. Koshiro immediately explained, The two of them are betting on your teacher's age on the boat that came here. Now that you see the teacher, you are a real person. That bet comes up. Teacher, don't mind. It's okay, little kid. Lin Wuya said faintly, then glanced at the girl and the seaweed head boy. A smile was drawn at the corner of his mouth. It turned out to be these two little guys, Zoro, Kuina. Right. Teacher, who are these people? At this time, Koshiro noticed the dozens of pirates who were tied together by Wuhuata, and asked Lin Wuya. They are the pirates who ransacked this village. They were subdued and tied here by me. You can deal with it. Lin Wuya turned towards Koshiro, it is good. Koshiro nodded, and then walked to the pirates who were tied together. These pirates were from East Blue, so naturally they recognized Koshiro, and with the recognition, they felt a panic in their hearts. Sword. Swordmaster Koshiro. Juggernaut is the title given to Koshiro by the outside world, but Koshiro's current strength is indeed worthy of this title. Don't. Don't kill me. The lone wolf glanced at Koshiro standing in front of him, and he was peeing his pants in shock. Although his evil wolf pirate group is considered a small and famous pirate group in East Blue, he knows that it can't be compared with the swordsman Koshiro. In front of the swordsman Koshiro, they are as weak as ants. At first he saw it with his own eyes that Koshiro cut a pirate ship with a single blow. If you don't kill you, will you keep you harming the people? Koshiro glanced at the pirates coldly, and then pulled out the saber around his waist. The sharp blade light flashed, bringing an astonishing slash to sweep across these pirates. These pirates died directly without even screaming. And the aftermath of the slash was to sever the big tree surrounded by five people. Awesome. As expected of Koshiro, the sword saint. The villagers saw that Koshiro not only learned about so many pirates, but the aftermath of the formation cut off such a big tree, and their shocked mouths were the elder boss. They have only heard the name of the swordmaster Koshiro, but they don't know its strength. It looks really scary now. But then again, People as strong as Sword Saint Koshiro call the old gentleman a teacher, so how strong this old gentleman should be. Thinking about it this way, the villagers all looked at Lin Wuya, who had the bones of a crane. They suppressed the two groups of pirates yesterday and today. They were shocked by Lin Wuya's strength. The strength of the old man is far more than that. Lin Wuya turned to the village chief and the villagers and said, Well, these pirates have been solved, and you can live with peace of mind. Thank you old sir. Many villagers even knelt down in gratitude. They knew that if it weren't for the old gentleman, their sunset village would not exist. At this time, Koshiro walked over and said to the villagers, In addition, if there are pirates invading here in the future, you can give me my name. I don't think the pirates will come over you anymore. Thank you Master Sword Saint. The villagers kept kowtow towards Koshiro. If Lin Wuya helped them resolve these two crises, then Koshiro's remarks are to save them from being violated by pirates in the future. After all, Koshiro's reputation is still very big, let alone East Blue, even if it looks around the world, it is famous. No pirate dared to invade their small village at the risk of offending the swordmaster Koshiro. Teacher. Let's go too. Koshiro turned to look at Lin Wuya, and said. Hum. Lin Wuya nodded, then followed Koshiro to board the ship when he came, and left here. On the deck, Lin Wuya looked at the Koshiro who was more mature than before, and smiled and said, When I was learning arts behind me, you were just a kid in your early twenties become a famous swordsman in the world. It's all well taught by the teacher, Koshiro humbly said, 
If I hadn't learned swordsmanship for three years after you, I wouldn't be able to achieve what I am now. Ha ha. Really? Lin Wuya smiled faintly, then put his hands behind him and looked at the sea level. How long will it be? It's going to be a while. If you feel tired, teacher, you can rest in the cabin. I have already made the bed for my disciple. Koshiro turned towards Lin Wuya. It's considerate in handling things. Lin Wuya nodded in satisfaction, and then walked into the cabin with a flick of his sleeves. Wait to call me. Lin Wuya's voice came from the cabin. Yes, teacher. Koshiro respectfully made a bow towards the cabin. Master Tai is so handsome. On the side, Kuina has a nympho with two eyes, and the movement just now from Master Tai is not too handsome. Kuina. Don't be rude. Koshiro glared at Kuina, but Kuina shrugged and said fearlessly, I'm not rude, two master is really handsome. After speaking, she turned to look at Zoro who was aside, you say yes, Zoro. Hum. Zoro nodded seriously like a small adult, Master Tai is really handsome. On the sea level, the ship sailed overnight. After spending one night and one and a half days, it finally arrived at Shimotsuki village. Koshiro walked into the cabin and said respectfully to Lin Wuya who was sitting on the bed with his eyes closed and rested, Teacher, here it is. Hum. On the bed, Lin Wuya slowly opened his eyes, then walked off the bed and left the cabin. Standing on the deck, Lin Wuya looked at the strange island in front of him. Is this Shimotsuki village? Walking off the boat, under the leadership of Koshiro, Lin Wuya came to Ishin Dojo. Compared with the Ishin Dojo in the original book, the Ishin Dojo in front of you is much larger, and the area alone is more than ten times larger. And on the square outside the dojo, hundreds of disciples were practicing swordsmanship seriously, with a very serious attitude, but most of them were small guys, just as old as Zoro and Kuina. After Koshiro appeared in the dojo, the disciples who were practicing swords stopped suddenly, and then turned to Koshiro slightly behind, Hello, master. Hum. Koshiro nodded, and then said to them, this is the great master who I used to talk to you often. Call master too. Suddenly, hundreds of disciples turned to face Lin Wuya respectfully and shouted, Good master. Hum. In this regard, Lin Wuya nodded slightly. Teacher. Here. Hum. Lin Wuya nodded, then followed Koshiro into the dojo. The little guys in the square tilted their heads and looked at Lin Wuya curiously. Is that the two master that master often mentions? Different from those disciples who practice swords seriously outside the dojo, the dojo is similar to an area where you can learn from each other. At this moment, in those areas, some teenagers are fighting in pairs, they are holding bamboo knives in constant exchanges. Bang! The fierce clash of bamboo knives is endless. Are these also your disciples? Lin Wuya looked around at these little guys who were fighting, and then asked Koshiro. Hum. Koshiro nodded. Since I went down the mountain, I created this dojo, but I didn't expect that more and more people would come to apprentice to learn art. There was no way to expand the dojo. Now the number of disciples in the dojo is nearly a thousand. A dojo with thousands of disciples, even if you look at the world at this scale, it should be second to none. Lin Wuya said lightly, teacher praised. Koshiro said faintly, and he couldn't help feeling a little happy. You must know that when he was on the mountain, the teacher always reprimanded him, and the teacher praised him for the first time. In the dojo, those disciples who were studying also noticed Koshiro who entered the dojo, immediately stopped the study, and turned around to face Koshiro one by one and said, Hi master. Hum. Lin Wuya nodded slightly, and then introduced Lin Wuya like his disciples, This is your great master. Great master. The disciples turned to Lin Wuya and shouted loudly. Hum. Lin Wuya smiled and nodded, and then said to Koshiro, By the way, have you contacted other seniors after going down the mountain? He had a total of 25 disciples in the mountain at the beginning, and Lin Wuya naturally seemed to see him at first sight. He wants to see how those boys are doing now. That's not it. Koshiro shook his head. After going down the mountain, some seniors became pirates and started their careers as pirates, and some were busy with their own business, and they rarely had contact. Is that so? Lin Wuya nodded thoughtfully. But I know where there are a few seniors, at this time, Koshiro said again. Those few? Lin Wuya asked subconsciously. Brother Buggy, Brother Smoker. Koshiro said, Brother Buggy came to East Blue just like me after going down the mountain. He is now a pirate in a small town called Orange Town in East Blue. As for Brother Smoker, he has now become Marine Vice Admiral. But he will come to Logue Town to inspect the situation from time to time. So if you go to Logue Town, you should meet him. Buggy and Smoker. Lin Wuya smiled slightly. It was said that these two little guys also came to his door earlier. Among them, Buggy Lin Wuya was the most impressed. 
I was impressed by Buggy not because of how hard Buggy worked, but because the kid was too lazy and not interested in spiritual practice, but was very interested in treasure. Lin Wuya vaguely remembered that when he was on the island, the kid went to some caves to see if there were any treasures when he had time. Lin Wuya also said at the time that Buggy said that there is no treasure on this island, but Buggy didn't believe it. For this reason, Buggy took longer to practice cultivation than others. He just went down the mountain after studying with Lin Wuya for ten years. It is also the longest time with Lin Wuya among the many disciples. Because of this, Lin Wuya has the deepest impression of Buggy, and his feelings are also the deepest. I can take the teacher to Brother Buggy and Brother Smoker when I have time. If both of them know that teacher, you have gone down the mountain, they will be very happy. Koshiro turned towards Lin Wuya. Hmm, Lin Wuya nodded. After walking around the dojo, Lin Wuya stopped, and then he took out a knife at random from the shelf full of katana on the side. Seeing the teacher's sudden behavior, Koshiro suddenly asked, Teacher? What are you? Try to improve your swordsmanship during the time after going down the mountain. Lin Wuya held the knife in one hand and said towards Koshiro. It is good. Koshiro nodded. He also wanted to compete with the teacher. After all, he was often abused by the teacher in the mountains. And now he has improved a lot compared to ten years ago. In his opinion, even if he is not the teacher's opponent, he should be able to compare with the teacher. Carrying a long knife, the two walked to the center of the dojo. There are many disciples in the dojo at this moment. Looking at the Koshiro and Lin Wuya who are standing in the center of the dojo with long knives, there is a flash of excitement in their eyes. Master, is this going to be compared with Master Tai? Immediately many disciples gathered around. Zoro and Kuina also noticed. There was also a hint of interest in their eyes. Then they trod over and came to the innermost part of the crowd, staring at Lin Wuya and Koshiro who were facing each other with scorching eyes. Ji Yu Yina and Zoro have always wanted to see their master's strength. Hey! Zoro, how strong do you think Master Tai will be? Kuina asked Zoro. Zoro said with a serious look, since he is too master, his strength must be very strong, at least much stronger than the master. I feel so too, Kuina smiled. For the first time, the two held the same opinion. You move first. Lin Wuya with one hand behind him, said lightly towards Koshiro. Then I'm welcome, teacher. Koshiro nodded, and his eyes flashed brightly. In the next instant, his whole person turned into a stream of light and shot towards Lin Wuya. Master's speed is so fast. Seeing the speed that Koshiro exploded, many disciples in the audience exclaimed. They have also seen Koshiro show great strength, but it is undoubtedly incomparable to this moment, especially at this speed, it is almost ultimate. Almost instantly, Koshiro rushed in front of Lin Wuya, and then he volleyed Lin Wuya with a knife in his right hand. In the face of Lin Wuya, Koshiro didn't dare to have any reservations, and at the beginning, he unreservedly used his best. Brush. The astonishing light of the knife flashed, and the long knife swung down. Koshiro's strike was very fast, and it is not an exaggeration to describe it as lightning, and this was also taught to Koshiro by Lin Wuya on the mountain. All martial arts in the world are strong and unbreakable, but quick and unbreakable. After going down the mountain, Koshiro kept this in mind and began his own penance, and now he has practiced a fast sword. And the reason why Koshiro is called the swordsman of the world, is also because of his speed with the sword. When Mihawk, the world's number one swordsman, Hawkeye, came to East Blue and challenged Koshiro, he was shocked by Koshiro's fast sword. Although Hawkeye won the battle, Hawkeye gave Koshiro a very high evaluation. He also said that Koshiro was the first fast swordmaster he played against in his life. Koshiro also became famous because of the battle with Hawkeye. Until now, he has become a fearless swordsman in the East Blue and even countless swordsmen in the world. Besides, Lin Wuya, watching Koshiro's ultimate sword, also slightly nodded. It seems that this kid didn't fall into practice even after going down the mountain. The speed of this sword was much faster than when he was on the mountain. Brush. Mentioning the long knife, Lin Wuya faced him. Compared to Koshiro, Lin Wuya's sword is undoubtedly faster, and the speed is even beyond the scope of the naked eye. The many disciples in the Yishin Dojo that were onlookers did not even see Lin Wuya's sword action clearly. Lin Wuya's knife collided with Koshiro's knife. I can't see the sword's movements at all. Exclamations kept ringing. At this moment, Zoro and Kuina, who were at the forefront, also grew their mouths in shock. Master, this sword is too fast. Completely invisible. The speed of the sword is fast enough, but it's still too late. Lin Wuya, who blocked Koshiro's blow with a sword, smiled faintly, and then he swept the sword in front of him with the sword in his right hand. Bang! The strong anti-shock force transmitted from Lin Wuya's sword directly sent Koshiro away, 
He wiped his feet on the ground and glided back several tens of meters before he stopped. However, Koshiro was shocked in his heart at the moment. In the previous sword, he almost used his speed to ultimate, but he was stopped by the teacher so easily. Koshiro was repelled with a sword, and Lin Wuya smiled at him and said, Come again. It is good. Koshiro nodded and rushed out again. Pick, stab, chop, chop. In the face of Lin Wuya, Koshiro has almost used what he has learned throughout his life to the ultimate. However, it's useless. No matter how he attacks, Lin Wuya can easily block him. Then stand there and let Koshiro keep making moves. Master 2 is amazing. Among the spectators, Zoro's mouth opened boss was the same as Kuina. Facing the teacher, father's offense, the Master 2 stopped all without moving a step. Regarding the strength of Master Tai, they also thought that it should be very strong, but what they didn't expect was that it turned out to be so strong. You know, even in the face of Mihawk, the world's number one swordsman, the teacher, father only lost one move. However, in the face of Master Tai, the teacher, master was actually caught in such a difficult situation. Doesn't it mean that Master Tai's swordsmanship is stronger than Mihawk, the world's largest swordsman? But Koshiro, he was also shocked. You must know that his practice has not fallen after going down the mountain. It is no less powerful than the practice behind the teacher. However, even so, it is still impossible to shake the teacher. The teacher's swordsmanship is too strong. The attack failed again. Koshiro stopped, and slightly bent towards Lin Wuya with both hands, the disciple will bow down to the wind. It's not that Koshiro doesn't want to fight, but the teacher hasn't moved a single step after attacking for half an hour. This is a ghost. Koshiro feels that his heart is going to collapse again. Although it is still the same as on the mountain, your swordsmanship has improved a lot. Lin Wuya smiled at Koshiro. No matter how strong you are, you still get abused by the teacher. Koshiro was a little frustrated. He knew that if the teacher had launched an offensive before, he would definitely be defeated in an instant. So to some extent, it can be regarded as being abused as before. However, there is one thing that Koshiro doesn't understand. It is reasonable to say that the higher the grade, the more the strength will be regressed, but from the teacher, he can't see the slightest sign of weakness, on the contrary, he is stronger than the mountain. This is against common sense, and this time he chose to compete with Lin Wuya, considering that Lin Wuya is a bigger grade, he thought that the teacher's swordsmanship should have regressed, but in the end he hit him severely. This he has regressed, even more terrifying than when he was on the mountain. Lin Wuya didn't know what Koshiro was thinking. After finishing the competition with Koshiro, he put the knife back in place, and then said to Koshiro, as long as you work hard, you will surpass as a teacher sooner or later. If Lin Wuya said this before the competition, Koshiro might agree, but after this competition, Koshiro had no such thoughts at all. He is 80 years old, and he can still abuse him like a mountain. Koshiro doesn't expect to be able to surpass the teacher in this life, it would be nice to not be abused by the teacher. Master 2. Can I practice swordsmanship behind you? At this moment, Zoro ran over and looked at Lin Wuya with excitement. Do you want to learn swordsmanship from me? Lin Wuya looked at Zoro in front of him and asked with interest. Yeah. I want to learn. Zoro nodded seriously. Can you tell me the reason? Why do you want to follow me to learn swordsmanship? Is it because my swordsmanship is better than your teacher's swordsmanship? Lin Wuya asked with a smile. This is indeed one of the reasons, and another reason is that I have lost to Kuina more than a thousand times, and I want to beat her. Zoro grumbled. Good guys, it turned out to want to defeat Kuina. Lin Wuya laughed for a while. But think about it, I lost to the same person more than a thousand times. I am afraid that no one can accept it, let alone Zoro, a very competitive kid. Lin Wuya knew about the affairs between Zoro and Kuina. Zoro was young and energetic, but was defeated by Kuina. Then Zoro joined the Ishin Dojo and began to challenge Kuina. It's just that Kuina is too strong. Even if Zoro works hard and reaches the level of defeating an adult, he still can't beat Kuina, losing to Kuina a full 2001 times. Do you really want to learn swordsmanship after me? Lin Wuya asked Zoro, he knew Zoro's potential and talent. If Zoro really wanted to follow him to learn swordsmanship, then Lin Wuya would not refuse. Furthermore, he has nothing to do after going down the mountain, and teaching Zoro can also pass some boring time. Hum, I want to learn. Zoro nodded firmly. Since you want to learn, then you. Seeing Zoro sincerely wanted to learn, Lin Wuya smiled and nodded. Just about to agree to Zoro, Kuina rushed over. Zoro, you are cheating. If I can't win, I want to learn swordsmanship after Master Tai. Kuina said dissatisfied. Where am I cheating? If I can't beat you. Can I still learn swordsmanship from the master? Zoro is also blasted, and fights hard for reasons. Just cheating. 
Kuina bulged her cheeks and said, You will learn swordsmanship behind Master Tai, and your strength will definitely advance by leaps and bounds. It is estimated that you will be able to defeat me soon. I naturally refuse to accept it. It's useless if you don't agree. Master Little Boy has already agreed to me. Zoro snorted coldly, then turned his face to one side and stopped looking at Kuina. I'm furious. Seeing Zoro's hob meat, Kuina trembled with anger, and then he made a decision that Zoro had never thought of. I saw Kuina bulgingly said, No, I also want to learn swordsmanship from behind Master Tai. Kuina. Dot you. Zoro's face is purple, Kuina is too despicable, and she wants to learn swordsmanship from behind the master. Kuina wrapped her arms around her chest, and said in a look like a small adult, Could it be that you are only allowed to learn swordsmanship behind Master Tai, so you are not allowed to me? Zoro's body trembled in anger, and finally only suffocated these words, Kuina, you are too bad. Huh. I'm not bad. Kuina snorted coldly, and then turned to look at Lin Wuya, her little face looked at Lin Wuya pitifully as if her face changed. Master too. You have promised Zoro, but you can't help but promise me. While talking, Kuina also blinked big eyes at Lin Wuya, posing a pitiful look. Lin Wuya was also defeated by Kuina. This Nizi is really cute too. In order to agree to her, she resorted to the beauty trick. No, it was a girl trick. Alright. Then you will follow Zoro to learn swordsmanship behind me. Kuina showed up like this, Lin Wuya was not easy to refuse, so he agreed to Kuina. When Lin Wuya agreed to her, Kuina jumped up in excitement, and then wrapped Lin Wuya's arm and shook it affectionately. Master, you are the best. That's even more intimate than Koshiro. It's so shameless. Looking at Kuina, who is not good enough with her father, Zoro's teeth are itchy, Kuina is too bad, she actually plays cute with her daughter. Kuina let go of Lin Wuya's arm, and said proudly towards Zoro, Haha. Zoro, now your little abacus can't be done. Zoro snorted coldly. HMPH. Don't be proud of Kuina, even if the master promises you, I will defeat you in the end. Then I will wait and see. Kuina squinted the crescent moon and smiled, his appearance made Zoro half dead, and then he turned around and ignored Kuina. Teacher. Will this happen? Koshiro walked over and said towards Lin Wuya. It's okay. Lin Wuya waved his hand. Anyway, I'm idle, so it's better to teach these two little guys, and it's also fun to have two little guys by your side. Lin Wuya said so, and Koshiro couldn't say anything, and then turned to Zoro and Kuina and said, You can't be rude to follow Master Tai in the future. Also, don't disturb Master Tai when he rests. Got it. Teacher. Got it. Father. The two smiled at Koshiro. Teacher. I will take you to Shimotsuki village. Koshiro turned to Lin Wuya. It is good. Lin Wuya nodded, and then left the Ishin Dojo under the leadership of Koshiro. After Lin Wuya left, Kuina and Zoro both pulled nasty smiles at the corners of their mouths, and they immediately gave a high five. Finish. At this moment, Lin Wuya, who had just left the dojo, paused slightly, and then he smiled and shook his head. These two little guys, what's wrong, teacher? Koshiro noticed Lin Wuya's strangeness and asked immediately. Nothing. Let's go. Lin Wuya smiled faintly, then lifted his steps and walked forward. Lin Wuya was a little bit dumbfounded at the moment, these two little guys turned out to be in collusion. They were really two clever little ghosts, but he was actually deceived. It seems that the days to come will become very interesting. Time passed slowly, and it was already half a month since Lin Wuya came to Shimotsuki village unknowingly. In the past half month, Lin Wuya has also completely adapted to this place, and by now there is no discomfort anymore. Ishin Dojo Back Mountain. At this moment, one big, two small and three figures are standing there. The big one is naturally Lin Wuya, and those two small figures are Zoro and Kuina. Since Lin Wuya promised that the two of them could follow him to learn sword surgery, these two little guys often followed him. Today is the 15th day of their learning with Lin Wuya. It's going on, Zoro. Kuina held the word head out towards Zoro. Come on. As for Zoro, he is holding two long knives. Now Zoro has not yet started to use the three sword style like in the original work. That's good. Kuina's face was flat, her feet stomped on the ground and rushed out quickly. Looking at the rushing Kuina, Zoro's eyes were also full of seriousness. He knew Kuina's strength, so he didn't dare to be careless. Look at it. Kuina rushed in front of Zoro in an instant, and slashed at Zoro with a knife in both hands. Upon seeing this, Zoro directly lifted the double knives and crossed them to greet him. Clang. When the three knives collided, there was a sharp metal clash. Is it blocked? Kuina Lu frowned, and then twitched the knives in both hands, 
aiming at the gap between Zoro's two knives, and preparing to pick them up and fly away like they did in the past. Is this another trick? Kuina. Looking at Kuina's posture, Zoro knew what she wanted to do, and Kuina wanted to pick up his double knives again. So the moment he saw Kuina's move, he drew two knives quickly. Brush. Kuina's cut was directly defeated. Failed. Kuina frowned and looked at Zoro again. There was a little more complexity in her eyes. Has Zoro grown to be able to deal with his move freely? It's time for me to attack, Kuina. Zoro grinned at Kuina, and then he held knives in both hands, and the whole person volleyed. Brush. 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 Under Zoro's turn, the two knives swung quickly, forming a double knife tornado and swept toward Kuina. Kuina didn't choose to fight hard, and chose to go back. Hey. A flash of excitement flashed in Zoro's eyes. It was the first time I saw Kuina step back. Step on. Stepping on the ground, Zoro rushed out in a big stride. The two swords in his hand constantly attacked Kuina from both sides. In the face of Zoro's fierce defense, Kuina had to choose defense. Clang. 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 The fierce collision sounded constantly. Zoro gets more excited as he fights, but Kuina gets more and more frightened as he fights. Because he found that Zoro's strength with every knife has improved a lot compared to the past, after several fights, his arm felt a little numb. Unexpectedly, your strength has improved so much. Zoro, in that case, I'm not welcome. Kuina knew that if he continued to defend like this, he would be defeated by Zoro sooner or later, so he turned from defense to offense. Holding Hedoichi text with both hands, he launched a crazy attack on Zoro. Zoro didn't expect Kuina to launch an offensive in an instant, her face changed slightly, and she held a pair of knives to defend. But isn't Kuina's attack with full strength so easy to block, even if Zoro's strength has improved a lot, it is still a bit unstoppable. Soon, Zoro was in a mess, and Kuina found a chance. Brush. Holding a head out text in hand, Kuina slashed towards Zoro's head, but didn't cut it off, and finally stopped 10 centimeters above Zoro's head. Lost again. I'm really unwilling. Once again defeated by Kuina, a look of unwillingness flashed across Zoro's face. After studying with Master Tai for half a month, he still couldn't beat Kuina. However, he didn't know that Kuina had a solemn expression at the moment. Although he won this time, it was not as easy as he used to be. This battle Zoro had put a lot of pressure on her, if it weren't for her full effort offensive, she may lose this time. Thinking of this, an unwilling emotion flashed in her eyes. She knew that because she was a daughter, the advantages of girls would gradually be inferior to boys as they age. It would be great if I were a boy like Zoro. Kuina said inwardly. Not far away, Lin Wuya looked at the lost Kuina in his eyes. He knew why Kuina was like this. I'm afraid he thought of his daughter, just like in the original book. It looks like you have to enlighten Kuina, in Lin Wuya's mind, there is no difference between a male body and a daughter body. Although the male body has an advantage in strength, the daughter body also has her advantage. That is the flexibility of the body, which can achieve many poses that men can't do. And a girl can also become an outstanding swordsman through practice. The road to kendo depends on whether you work hard enough, but there is no distinction between men and women. This is not the case with his disciple Gion. Although he is a daughter, he has also become a powerful swordsman. When he was on the mountain, he often played against Koshiro. He was not weaker than Koshiro. But Kuina doesn't know this, and she is still deeply troubled by her daughter. Lin Wuya knows very well that if he keeps this state of mind, Kuina will soon be surpassed by Zoro in the past, and the gap with Zoro will only get farther and farther in the future. When a person has baggage in his heart, he can no longer concentrate. In the original book, why did Zoro grow so fast? In addition to his excellent swordsmanship, it is also Zoro's strong heart that is not afraid of life and death. So for today's Kuina, if you want to become stronger and break through yourself, you must get rid of the current idea that a daughter is not as good as a man. The moon is like a silver plate and the sky is full of stars. After Yamanaka, a petite figure was sitting there. Chienying is naturally Kuina. After finishing her practice at Lin Wuya today, she came here alone. What are you thinking about? At this moment, an old voice sounded behind her, Kuina turned and looked behind her, and then she saw Lin Wuya who appeared behind her at some unknown time. Master Tu. Looking at your expression, there seems to be something on your mind. Lin Wuya walked over, and then sat down beside Kuina. No. What's wrong with me? Kuina tried to grin, but the smile looked a bit bitter. Laughing so reluctantly, still say no. Lin Wuya smiled, and then said, Tell Master Tai, maybe Master Tai can help you. Kuina was silent for a moment, and then said, Master Tu, do you think girls can really become powerful swordsmen? On this question? Lin Wuya asked with a smile. 
Hum. Kuina nodded seriously. If this is what you want to ask, then Master Tai can tell you very directly that girls can become powerful swordsmen. Lin Wuya said in a loud voice, but girls will develop physically, and they will be far inferior in strength to boys. As Kuina said, she scratched her chest with her hand, my body is just beginning to develop. How about development? What about boys who are not as powerful as boys? Who knows? Lin Wuya laughed. The sword is held with both hands, not with a developed body, and the strength is not as good as the strength enhancing practice of boys. Sword practice has never been divided into men and women. Also, do you know Marine Gion? Kuina asked curiously, Gion? Who is she? Lin Wuya said, She is also a disciple of Master Tai, just like your father. She is a girl like you. However, with her own step by step hard work, she eventually became a powerful swordsman, and she is also a master of swordsmanship. Never lose to your father. Not to lose to father. Kuina was startled, and then asked a little excitedly, Master, what you said is true? Lin Wuya nodded. Of course, if you don't believe me, I can ask your father. When I was in the mountains, your father often discussed with her. So Kuina, remember not to care if you are a daughter, can't a daughter become a powerful swordsman? The same can be done, even in my opinion, girls have a greater advantage in swordsmanship than boys, because girls are born with physical bodies. Just soft, he can do what many boys can't do. Lin Wuya has a loud voice, his words hit Kuina's heart. As for Kuina's long lost heart knot was completely opened at this moment, and then she stood up and looked at Lin Wuya with excitement, Master Tu. I know, I will work harder to practice swordsmanship in the future. I will never care about my daughter again. Kuina was very excited at this moment. He never thought that his daughter's body would have an advantage over a man's body. And she felt that what Master Tai said was right. The sword was held with the hand, not with the body, as long as the strength couldn't be increased. Of course, what excites Kuina most is the Gion that Master Tai said, who is a daughter like her, turned out to be a great swordsman who did not lose to her father. Since others can become powerful swordsmen, she thinks that she can also be. Seeing that Kuina's heart knot was completely opened, Lin Wuya immediately smiled faintly, it's good to know. Besides, it's getting late. Go back to bed. If you're late tomorrow morning, master won't be merciful. Hee <laughs> hee. Knowing the master, I will go back to sleep. Kuina stuck out her tongue playfully at Lin Wuya, and then ran down the mountain excitedly. Looking at Kuina's jumping figure, Lin Wuya smiled slightly, and finally opened the knot of Nizi's heart completely. And Lin Wuya is also curious about how high Kuina's future achievements will be when this knot is opened. After all, in the original book, Kuina's talent in swordsmanship is not lost to Zoro, and even Lin Wuya seems to be higher than Zoro. Victory against Zoro in 2001 is a good proof. Flicking his sleeves, Lin Wuya immediately put his hands behind him and walked slowly down the mountain. The next day, 7 o'clock in the morning. It seemed that the knot was opened and Kuina came earlier than usual. When Lin Wuya came to Hushan, Kuina was already there waiting. Are you here so early? Lin Wuya walked over and asked with a smile. Yeah. I'm so motivated now, Kuina grinned, her eyes narrowed into a crescent. At this moment, Zoro also came, looking at the smiling Kuina, a look of doubt flashed in his eyes. How do you feel that Kuina is not the same as usual? Come, Zoro, Lin Wuya interrupted Zoro's mind. Hum. Zoro looked sternly, then came to Lin Wuya and stood with Kuina. But unlike yesterday, Zoro has three knives hanging around his waist today. Three knives, is this kid planning to start three knives? Lin Wuya was not surprised that Zoro used three knives, because Zoro in the original book is a swordsman with three swords. But Kuina was different. Seeing Zoro had three knives hanging around her waist, she was immediately surprised, and then asked, Zoro, you don't want to use three knives? Yes. Zoro nodded seriously. Two knives can't beat you, I will use three knives. But you only have two hands, how do you hold three knives? Kuina was a little puzzled, in his opinion, at most two hands could only hold two knives at the same time. Who said you must hold a knife with your hand? Zoro grinned, and then he drew out the three knives, holding one in each of his left and right hands, and he bit the third one in his mouth. That's not it. Zoro bit the handle of the knife and said to Kuina. Bite with your mouth? Kuina was also shocked by Zoro's bold idea, biting a knife in her mouth, and looking at the world, it is probably Zoro's case. Compared to Ji Yu Yina, Lin Wuya was not so shocked, with an unexpected expression, because in the original book, Zoro's three swords flow and the third knife was bit in the mouth, and developed some more powerful ones. Moves. One of the most powerful tricks is 3000 worlds. With a straight face, Lin Wuya turned towards Zoro and Kuina and said, 
I will teach you other skills today. Master Tu, what are you going to teach us today? Kuina asked first. The things that Master Tai taught them in the past half month have made them infinitely useful, so she really wants to know what skills Master Tai will teach them this time. Today, Master Tai taught you not swordsmanship skills, but physical skills. Lin Wuya put his hands behind him, and said lightly. Does the swordsman also need Master's powerful physical skills? Kuina asked curiously. Of course. Lin Wuya nodded. Master's powerful physical skill will greatly enhance your combat effectiveness, and then the teacher will teach you a speed type physical skill called shaving. This trick is also a relatively powerful physical skill in Marine, but it is extremely difficult, and only some powerful generals in Marine can understand it. But if you can learn it, even if you face opponents stronger than you in the future, you will be able to fight against them, and even kill with one blow. One hit kills. The bodies of Zoro and Kuina trembled. What kind of physical technique this shave is so powerful? Looking at the shocked faces of Zoro and Kuina, Lin Wuya smiled faintly, and then said to them, Now I will show you the power of shaving. Shaving was originally one of the six styles in Marine. The reason why Lin Wuya knew it was because of the system. On the mountain, he learned a lot of powerful physical skills through the system, and Marine six styles was one of them. However, Lin Wuya chose to pass on shaving to Kuina and Zoro, considering that the burst of shaving can make people move at high speed, as if they disappeared in an instant. Just imagine, when a swordsman has a shave, what a terrifying outbreak will be. One hit kills is not a slander, look up. With a solemn expression, Lin Wuya's legs slammed towards the ground. Boom. With a burst of air, Lin Wuya's figure disappeared directly into the eyes of Zoro and Kuina. When it had to appear again, it was already 20 meters away. This is still the result of Lin Wuya's deliberate control, otherwise, even if it is to cross a hundred meters at a time, it will not be a problem. Is this the power of shaving? The bosses with long mouths of Zoro and Kuina, their small faces were shrouded in shock. The distance of 20 meters was surpassed in an instant, and the explosion of this shave was too fast. After starting to shave again, Lin Wuya returned to Zoro and Kuina, and then said to them, the power of shave is to increase the speed of a person to ultimate. Just imagine, when a swordsman is a master, he will shave. How? Kuina and Zoro didn't think about this question, but now Lin Wuya asked, they couldn't help but think about it. Immediately after that, the backs of the two people were cold at the same time. If the swordsman is the master shaved, then the fighting power can be said to be a bunker. Crossing 20 meters in an instant, at this terrifying speed, I am afraid that the opponent will be killed before he can react. Looking at the fearful expressions of Kuina and Zoro, Lin Wuya smiled and asked, Do you want to learn? Yes. Kuina and Zoro nodded without hesitation. Such a pervert physical skill, a fool doesn't want to learn it. Seeing Zoro and Kuina want to learn, Lin Wuya smiled slightly, and then said, Then I will teach you about shaving, but the difficulty of shaving is very difficult, and the learning process will be very difficult. Otherwise, there will not be only some generals in Marine. Yes, so you have to endure this kind of pain. This is not to scare Kuina and Zoro, but the truth. After all, shaving is a highly explosive physical technique. It requires both feet to step on the ground continuously at high speed in an instant. Therefore, if you want the master, you must perform both feet the process of intermittent training on the ground must be very hard. It's okay, too master. We are not afraid, we have suffered this kind of suffering. Kuina said with a firm face, the same is true for Zoro. There was no fear on their faces. Looking at the undaunted expressions of Kuina and Zoro, Lin Wuya nodded with satisfaction. It seems that even when they were young, both of them had strong perseverance. Taking the two of them to a flat open space, Lin Wuya said to them, before learning the principle of shave with you. In front of them, Zoro and Kuina listened carefully. Lin Wuya put his hands behind his back and said faintly, the so-called shaving is a high-speed explosive physical technique. You need to use your feet to quickly step on the ground in an instant to form a strong impact and make people generate extremely high speed. Like this. While talking, Lin Wuya gave a demonstration to Kuina and Lin Wuya. However, he didn't step on the ground as fast as he demonstrated shaving. After all, the speed is too fast, Zoro and Kuina can't see it at all. What he demonstrates is the slow motion of shaving. Ta ta ta. Lin Wuya's feet uninterruptedly stepped on the ground, bringing up a cloud of dust. Master 2. This shave seems to be very simple, it's just the most basic step on the ground. Zoro looked at Lin Wuya's feet and couldn't help but say. Simple. Lin Wuya smiled. It's quite as simple as you, and ordinary people can step on the ground with both feet, but shaving requires the feet of the human body to step on the ground dozens of times in an instant to have an effect. Step on the ground dozens of times in an instant? 
Zoro was stunned and stepped on the ground dozens of times in an instant. This is simply impossible. Zoro tried, but no matter how hard he tried, he could only step on the ground two or three times in an instant. Master 2. So difficult. Zoro turned towards Lin Wuya. If it's not difficult, then everyone can learn it. Lin Wuya smiled, and couldn't help but sigh Zoro's innocence. This kid thinks everything is too simple. Okay. Let's start training. The task I set for you this week is to step on the ground five times in an instant. Yes. Two master. Zoro and Kuina yelled loudly, and then began the practice of shaving earnestly. As for Lin Wuya, they stood by and watched. It is a very difficult task for Zoro, who is only nine years old, and Kuina, who is eleven years old, to step on the ground five times in a single week. However, there is pressure to have motivation. He was like this when he was on the mountain. It was precisely because of the tremendous pressure that he completed an amazing transformation. The sun keeps rising, and it's noon unknowingly. Later, Yamanaka, Zoro and Kuina continue to train. Although the two of them have strong perseverance, they are only children. They have been training on the ground all morning, and they are already sweating profusely. Okay. The morning training ends here. Lin Wuya looked at the sweaty Zoro and Kuina, and said lightly. As Lin Wuya's words fell, Zoro and Kuina collapsed directly on the ground, the two panting heavily, and their feet felt sore. Tired? Lin Wuya said with a smile, tired. The two nodded breathlessly. If you feel you can't hold on, you can give up. Two master won't force you. Lin Wuya smiled. Huh. I won't give up. Not five times, I will definitely finish it in a week. Zoro snorted coldly. Kuina did the same, unwilling to say, I will definitely do it too. Come on, then. Lin Wuya squeezed his fist to encourage them, but this posture on him, an 80-year-old man, was really a bit dissonant. After the morning practice, Lin Wuya returned to Ishin Dojo with Zoro and Kuina. Koshiro looked at the sweaty Zoro and Kuina, his face was startled, and it was the first time that he saw Zoro and Kuina so tired. So he asked Lin Wuya, Teacher, what happened to them? Practice martial arts. Lin Wuya smiled. Why is it so tired after practicing? Koshiro thought inwardly. During lunchtime, Koshiro ordered people to prepare a lot of hearty meals, which served Lin Wuya. Zoro and Kuina are also on the table. Perhaps it was because they were too tired from practicing in the morning, and both of them were extremely hungry. They almost gobbled up their food when they ate, and the posture was no weaker than the protagonist in the original book. Almost the two of them ate the large table full of food. You two should also leave a little bit for Master Tai. Koshiro scolded. It's okay. Let them eat, they will have strength only when they are full. Lin Wuya smiled. After lunch, Zoro and Kuina rested for half an hour, and then Lin Wuya took them to the back mountain again, and began the afternoon penance. In this way, Zoro and Kuina started the arduous practice in order to learn to shave. One day, two days, three days. Unconsciously, it has been five days since Zoro and Kuina practiced shave. In the past five days, almost the two of them were practicing with full strength, and even some adults could not compare their strength by far. However, there is always a reward for paying, and this is confirmed by Zoro and Kuina. After five days of penance, Zoro can already step on the ground four times in an instant, and the same is true for Kuina, reaching the level of four steps in an instant. Although it is only two days before the mission deadline, in Lin Wuya's view, with the perseverance of Zoro and Kuina, it should be no difficulty to increase it again in two days. In the next two days, Zoro and Kuina were still practicing hard, and finally, after a day of training, they reached the ground five times at a time. Master 2. We did it. After being able to step on the ground five times at a time, Zoro was the first to run over, and then Kuina also rushed over. The two of them reported their achievements to Lin Wuya with a look of excitement. Not bad. It was completed a day earlier than I expected. Lin Wuya nodded in satisfaction. He originally thought that completing five steps in a week should be a huge challenge for Zoro and Kuina. Now it seems that he still underestimated the potential of these two little guys. Afterwards, Lin Wu said again, But you can't be proud. Although it is good to complete five steps on the ground in six days, there is still a big distance from the standard of shaving dozens of steps in an instant, so in the next period of time you two one has to train as hard as the previous six days. Well, we know that we will not be proud, Zoro and Kuina nodded seriously. Lin Wuya glanced at the beach and found that the sun was only half of his head left, so he said to the two of them, it's getting late, so I won't train today. Go back to the evening to take a good rest and keep your strength, and continue tomorrow. Yes. Two master, the two yelled, and then they went down the mountain with Lin Wuya. The dinner was still prepared by Koshiro. As for Zoro and Kuina, 
they were eager to eat, and their appetite was even bigger than the previous few days. Koshiro was already quite familiar with this scene, so he didn't blame Zoro and Kuina. Master Two, we are finished. After dinner, the two did not forget to report to Lin Wuya, but Lin Wuya smiled slightly. Yeah. Let's rest. Hum. The two nodded, then left the dining table and returned to their respective rooms. After a while, there was a snoring sound. Teacher. What are you teaching Zoro and Kuina these few days? Why are they so tired every time they come back? Koshiro wanted to ask this question a long time ago, but kept it in his heart. This time, taking advantage of the opportunity to be alone with the teacher, he finally couldn't help asking it out. In his opinion, ordinary swordsmanship training should not be so tiring. Nothing. Just teaching them one of the marine six styles to shave. Lin Wuya said calmly. What? Koshiro's face changed and he taught Zoro and Kuina marine six styles to shave. Teacher. Is it too early to teach them one of the six shaves? Koshiro turned towards Lin Wuya. Others don't know about the shaving of Marine Six Styles. He knows it. It is extremely powerful and difficult to practice. Even if you look at all Marines, there are only some generals. However, Lin Wuya actually wants to teach Zoro and Kuina to shave. Koshiro was a little worried. After all, they are only children, and they can't bear the burden of practicing shaving on their bodies. You look down on them too much. Koshiro. Who knows? Lin Wuya smiled faintly. Do you know where in the past six days, Zoro and your daughter Kuina will shave? Which step? Koshiro asked subconsciously. Five times on the ground in a flash, Lin Wuya smiled. Five. Five times to step on the ground. Koshiro was stunned. Even when he was learning to shave, it took a full week to reach the level of five steps on the ground in an instant. Zoro and Kuina did it in just six days, no, isn't it? Yes. Lin Wuya smiled and nodded better than you as a teacher and father. Awesome. Koshiro didn't know what to say for a while, and only these three words popped out in the end. Lin Wuya continued. So don't think that Zoro and Kuina can't bear it when they are young. Their tolerance is much stronger than you think. At this point, even some adults can't match it. The teacher preached. Koshiro is a teacher of Taoism, as for Lin Wuya, he picked up a glass of wine on the side. Today is in a good mood as a teacher, and you have a good drink with you as a teacher. It is good. Koshiro nodded. This meal, the master and the apprentice, drank directly until 11 o'clock in the middle of the night. The one that Koshiro drank was called a drunk, but Lin Wuya was still like okay person. This drink is still as bad as it was when I was on the mountain. Looking at the drunk Koshiro lying on the table, Lin Wuya smiled and shook his head, then grabbed Koshiro's clothes and threw it into Koshiro's room, and then Lin Wuya swept his sleeves back to himself room. The moon enters the silver plate, the stars are quite sky. The sky was getting dark, and then the morning sun rose again. Lin Wuya, who was in his sleep, was awakened by a shout, and then he saw Zoro and Kuina standing in front of his bed. Master Tu, you are late today, Zoro bulged his cheeks. In the morning, he and Kuina came to the back mountain in enthusiasm, only to find that the master was not there, so they waited there, but after waiting for more than half an hour, the master was nowhere to be seen. The two of them then left the back mountain, came to Lin Wuya's room. It turned out that Master Tai was actually sleeping late, so there was the scene before. Haha. <laughs> Master Tu overslept. Lin Wuya knew that it was because of his drinking. Lifting the quilt, Lin Wuya stood up immediately. However, as soon as I stood up, Kuina's scream rang in my ear. Ah, Master. I saw that Kuina held her face in both hands and turned her head aside. What's the matter? Lin Wuya frowned, then glanced at his body, his face flushed. FCK. I didn't even wear clothes on my upper body. Master Tu drank too much last night. Explaining to the shy Kuina, Lin Wuya picked up his clothes and put on them, but Zoro in front of him stared directly at Lin Wuya, causing Lin Wuya to be dissatisfied. What are you looking at? Zoro. Master, you are so strong, just like a young man. Zoro said the doubt in his heart. Well, I don't know. Lin Wuya smiled and said, Lin Wuya himself was a little puzzled about his own body. He was 80 years old but his body was as strong as an ox, even stronger than when he was young. Generally speaking, the older the grade, the worse the body, but Lin Wuya can't see this from his own body. Find a time to ask the system what's going on. Lin Wuya knows that perhaps only the system can explain this reason. After getting dressed, Lin Wuya took Zoro and Kuina out of the room, simply got some food, and then came to the back mountain. You have finished stepping on the ground five times in an instant, and the next task is to step on the ground ten times in half a month. If you can complete this task as scheduled before, 
I'll give you a reward. Standing in front of Zoro and Kuina, Lin Wuya smiled. What reward? Master Tu, Zoro and Kuina asked expectantly. Take you out to sea once, Lin Wuya smiled. Both Zoro and Kuina are still young, and he knows that the two of them must have never been to sea, so this reward can be very tempting for them. Sure enough, when Lin Wuya said to take them out to sea, both Zoro and Kuina's eyes flashed with excitement. They have stayed in Shimotsuki village for so many years, but they have not been to sea yet. The only time I went to sea was the last time I went to pick up Master Tai at Sunset Village, but that was nothing to go to sea at all. They were all monitored by Master Koshiro along the way, and there was no opportunity for free activities at all. Therefore, when Lin Wuya wanted to say to take them out to sea, the two of them were extremely excited. Master, are you true? Zoro asked excitedly, the same goes for Kuina. Of course it's true. Lin Wuya smiled and nodded and said, If you can complete this task, then Master Tai will take you out to sea. Then can we play arbitrarily when we are at sea? Zoro asked excitedly. Good boy, this is what I care about. Lin Wuya smiled and shook his head, then nodded and said, Yes. Yeah. Master, you are so kind. Zoro and Kuina were so excited that they almost fell into Lin Wuya's arms. Don't be so happy. Taking you to sea is based on your completion of the task. If you don't complete it, then I won't go to sea for you. Lin Wuya said. Don't worry, master, we will definitely complete the task, and we will also work hard to complete the task just to go to sea for nothing else. Zoro said with a look of excitement, and then began to practice, and Kuina also joined it. These two little guys. Lin Wuya smiled secretly, he was more active than anything else to take them to sea. Smiling and shook his head, Lin Wuya then walked to a boulder and sat down, riding on the practice of Zoro and Kuina, and asked about the system. System. What's the matter with my body? I am obviously 80 years old, why is it still as strong as a young man? The system replied, that's because of the host's own cultivation. After 50 years of cultivation, host has already been tempered to ultimate. Naturally, it will not be as old as other elderly people of the same age. Another reason is that the system gives you the benefits of host. Although you are now in your 80s, your body's functions are maintained at the level of the prime of life. That's it. Lin Wuya nodded clearly, it turned out to be because of this. By the way, my body is maintained at the level of the prime of life, then my lifespan has also been extended a lot. A person's death is generally due to physical failure, but the system just said that his physical function is maintained in his prime, then Lin Wuya guesses that his lifespan may also be extended. After all, even if he is 80 years old, he should still be able to live a long time with a body in his prime. Yes. The systematic answer made Lin Wuya happy, as expected. Then how much life do I have for the system? Lin Wuya is more concerned about his remaining lifespan. After all, he is now in his 80s. If he were to put it on an ordinary person, 80 would be the age when he was exhausted. This system is not easy to answer, but one thing is certain, host will have no problems with your body in 50 years. The system says so. 50 years, enough. Lin Wuya grinned. 50 years is enough time for him to do a lot of things in this pirate world. Host, is there anything else you want to ask? At this time, the system voice in Lin Wuya's mind resounded again. Nothing. Lin Wuya waved his hand casually. Okay. The system fell silent completely after saying this sentence. As for Lin Wuya's face, there is glory. It seems that in addition to his old appearance, all aspects of his body's functions are still maintained at the level of a mature man. In addition, the remaining lifespan is as much as 50 years. Thinking about it this way, Lin Wuya thinks the system is still very good for him. Time flies, and it is noon soon. Lin Wuya took Zoro and Kuina down the mountain to fill their stomachs and simply rested, then returned to the back mountain and continued to practice. One day. Two days. In the time of practice, Tenten has passed, and Kuina and Zoro are also improving rapidly. Achieved six instant steps on the ground in two days. In five days, he stepped on the ground seven times in an instant. On the twelfth day, the two of them had reached the ground nine times in an instant. Adding to the six days it took to reach the five time standard before, the eighteen day Zoro and Kuina have reached the nine time standard. Nine times in eighteen days, Lin Wuya estimates that even if you look at the entire marine, only those monster level people can do it. After being able to step on the ground nine times in an instant, it took Zoro and Kuina two more days to improve once again on the original basis. If you improve once on the basis of nine times, it will naturally be ten times. It took fourteen days, one day ahead of the deadline given by Lin Wuya. Master Tu. We are done. After completing the task, Zoro and Kuina ran over excitedly. Good. 
Lin Wuya nodded in satisfaction. Master, when will you take us out to sea? Zoro and Kuina looked expectantly. Good guys. Still thinking about it. Lin Wuya smiled and shook his head, and immediately said, Don't worry. Master promised that you will naturally not break your promise, but now you have been able to step on the ground ten times in an instant, and you should be able to use the power of shave. Although I won't appear twenty meters away in an instant like mine, but your speed should have increased a lot. You can try it. Hearing that, Zoro and Kuina have a sense of interest in their eyes. They have been training these days, but they have never really used shave. Listening to Lin Wuya's words, they suddenly became curious about what level of shave power they could use with the level of stepping on the ground ten times in an instant. Zoro, how about we try together? Kuina said to Zoro. It is good. Zoro nodded, then looked into the distance with Kuina, and then glared at both feet. Bang. Bang. With the sound of two sonic booms, Kuina and Zoro's bodies shot directly into the distance at an astonishing speed, and behind them, a trail of afterimages could be seen faintly. That was only when the speed reached a certain level. Effect. Almost in the blink of an eye, Zoro and Kuina appeared twenty meters away. Kuina and Zoro who stopped looking at the distance between themselves and Lin Wuya were shocked. Such a long distance, they actually passed it all at once. Lin Wuya came over and asked with a smile, How is it? Are you still satisfied? Satisfied. Satisfied. The two nodded excitedly. The distance of twenty meters can be crossed in the blink of an eye. This feeling is really great, for the first time they experienced the feeling of win. And this is not the full power of the shave, and how great it feels to be a complete shave, they are all excited when they think about it. Looking at the excited expressions of Zoro and Kuina, Lin Wuya smiled, and immediately said to them, Go back to eat and sleep well at night, and meet at the beach at nine o'clock tomorrow morning? The seaside? Zoro and Kuina frowned. Shouldn't they be in the back mountain? Then it seemed that something had been thought of, and their faces were instantly shrouded in excitement. Does Master Tai say? Well, take you to see tomorrow. Lin Wuya smiled and nodded. Yeah, Master, you are so kind. Zoro and Kuina jumped with excitement. The next day. Nine o'clock in the morning. Lin Wuya took Zoro and Kuina to the beach, accompanied by Koshiro. You go back. There will be nothing wrong with me. Lin Wuya turned towards Koshiro. Hum. Koshiro nodded, and then said to Kuina and Zoro. This time I must listen to the master too much when I go out to sea. Don't play around, have you heard? Got it. Father. Got it. Master. The two nodded. Then teacher, these two boys will be handed over to you. Koshiro turned to Lin Wuya. Hum. Lin Wuya nodded, and then said, Right, I remember you told me that Buggy is in a place called Orange Town in East Blue, right? Yes. Teacher. Koshiro nodded, and then asked, Teacher, why did you suddenly ask about this? This time I went out to sea anyway, and I went to meet Buggy Kid by the way. Lin Wuya said lightly, Master, do you want me to send someone to tell Brother Buggy and let him pick you up? Koshiro asked. Lin Wuya shook his head. No need for this, I can go by myself and I also want to see what Buggy is doing these years. If you tell Buggy, I won't look at it. Lin Wuya, the Buggy kid, knows that it's bad. If you know that he's here, you can't do everything for the good. So Lin Wuya chose to go alone this time, so that he would know what Buggy was doing. Okay. Then I won't notify brother Buggy, Koshiro nodded. Hum. Lin Wuya nodded slightly, then boarded the boat with Zoro and Kuina and left Shimotsuki village. On the shore, Koshiro couldn't help but worry about Brother Buggy looking at the boat shadow that was going away. Although he has very little contact with Brother Buggy, he has also heard about Brother Buggy over the years. That wind review is really not very good. If you let the teacher know, then Brother Buggy will have to peel off at least. Bless yourselves. Brother Buggy. The blue sea level is endless. At this moment, a ship is sailing slowly. There are three people standing on the boat, it is Lin Wuya, Kuina and Zoro. It has been half an hour since I left Shimotsuki village. At the speed of the boat, it should be in the sea ten nautical miles away from Shimotsuki village. It feels good to go to sea. Zoro and Kuina stood on the bow, opened their hands and took a deep breath of the air mixed with seawater, their little faces full of enjoyment. Turning around, Zoro asked Lin Wuya next to him, Master, can I go to the sea to play? In the past, Zoro has also swam in the sea, but most of them are on the beach and the water is not deep. Now that he is out to sea, Zoro naturally wants to try the feeling of swimming in the sea. He thinks swimming in the deep sea should be very cool. Can you swim? Lin Wuya asked. Of course it will. Zoro's face Sunere raised his chin. I can swim when I'm five years old. Okay. Then you can swim in the sea, but you can't be too far to know if you don't. 
Lin Wuya said. Don't worry, too master, I won't swim too far. Seeing Lin Wuya agree to him, Zoro's face was immediately happy, and then he looked at Kuina beside him and asked, Kuina, do you want to be together? I won't go. Kuina refused Zoro. Besides, both of us are going to swim, who will accompany Taifu Master. So did you. Zoro nodded. Indeed, if Kuina and he were both going to sea, there would be only one master left on the boat. Then I will go down first. He took off his clothes, leaving only a small pant, and then Zoro plunged into the sea directly, then got out of the sea with a puff, leaving a head outside. It's still fun in the deep sea. Zoro grinned. Don't swim too far. Zoro, Kuina stood on the boat and said towards Zoro underwater. Don't worry. I won't swim too far. Zoro nodded, then turned over and jumped directly into the water. Regardless of Zoro's young age, but this water is quite good, a few breaths and he swims 10 meters away. Master 2. Would you like to come down and play together? As if feeling that he was not enjoying himself swimming alone, Zoro floated on the water and beckoned to Lin Wuya. This kid is not addicted to himself and wants to pull me together. Looking at Zoro who was waving at him, Lin Wuya smiled and shook his head, but speaking of it, he hadn't really tried the feeling of swimming in the deep sea. So when Zoro said so, he was also faintly moved. Just play with this kid. He chuckled and said something, and then Lin Wuya took off his coat, leaving just a big pants like Zoro, and then plunged into the sea. The reason why Kuina didn't accompany Zoro into the water before was because she was afraid that Master Tai was bored by herself, but now that Master Tai also went into the water, she immediately took off her clothes and went into the water. Of course, Kuina is a girl, it is impossible to wear only a big pants like Lin Wuya and Zoro, she also wears a thin dress on the upper body. Zoro saw that Master Tai and Kuina had also come down, a look of excitement appeared on his face immediately, and then he said to Lin Wuya and Kuina, Master Tai, Kuina, how about we swim faster than anyone else? Haha. <laughs> then compare. Lin Wuya also came to the innocence, one turned over and swam quickly towards Zoro, while Kuina followed Lin Wuya closely. Zoro grinned when he saw Lin Wuya and Kuina chasing after him, and then plunged into the sea. The two sun trio were swimming in the distance at a fast speed. When Lin Wuya, Kuina, and Zoro were swimming in the distance, at a depth of 100 meters from them, a giant sea monster suddenly opened its eyes, and then it looked towards the sea level. Somewhere, that is where Lin Wuya, Zoro, and Kuina are located. Waving its tail, the sea monster swam towards the three of them at an astonishing speed. On the sea level, Zoro is swimming as fast as a fish, Kuina is behind Zoro, and Lin Wuya is the last one. These two little guys swim really fast. Seeing Zoro and Kuina who had dumped him for nearly 20 meters, Lin Wuya also shook his head secretly. However, he was not surprised. After all, Zoro and Kuina live by the sea all year round, and the water is naturally very good, but he also has some swimming experience in his previous life. Although he has often been in the sea to catch fish in the past 50 years, but the speed is definitely not as fast as Zoro and Kuina who grow up by the sea. Of course, if you use some means, Lin Wuya will definitely be able to catch up, but facing a child the age of Zoro and Kuina, Lin Wuya thinks that if you use some means, it would be a bit shameless, and he is simply slow. Of swimming. Not far away, Zoro looked at Lin Wuya who was far behind him, and immediately laughed. Master, you are too slow. Master too just doesn't want to swim. Lin Wuya has a serious way. Haha. <laughs> Master, you lie to me. Zoro laughed. He didn't believe Lin Wuya was too lazy to swim. Zoro, do you feel a little movement underwater? At this moment, Kuina swam to Zoro's side and asked him. In fact, Kuina had felt it before. At the time, he thought it was some fish underwater, so he didn't care, but after swimming for a while, she found something was wrong. This kind of movement is not like a fish. Movement. Nothing. Zoro shook his head. You take a closer look, Kuina said to Zoro. Hearing this, Zoro immediately calmed down and felt it, and then his eyes were startled, there was really some movement, and the movement was not small. Immediately, Zoro's face changed, isn't it a sea monster? In the depths of the seabed, the movement grew louder and louder, and a huge figure directly burst out of the sea. This is a slender and huge sea monster with sharp fangs. At this moment, it is staring at Kuina and Zoro with a greedy color. This is. The king of offshore. Zoro's scared soul was gone at the moment and Kuina was the same. Frightened, the two turned and swam quickly towards Lin Wuya. While swimming, the two of them also shouted at Lin Wuya, Master Tai, save us. Not far away, Lin Wuya looked at the king of the sea behind Zoro and Kuina, his face changed slightly, and then he slammed his feet against the sea, and the whole person passed through underwater like a murloc. 
Then they grabbed Zoro and Kuina and escaped from the mouth of the King of the Sea. Master too. What should I do? This guy is amazing. Zoro was trembling in Lin Wuya's arms, as did Kuina, with fear in her eyes. Although they have learned a lot from Lin Wuya during this time, and their strength has improved a lot, they are only children about ten years old after all, and naturally they are very afraid of terrifying sea monsters like the King of the Sea. It's okay. There is too much master here. Lin Wuya smiled at Zoro and Kuina, then turned his head and looked at the King of the Sea. At this moment, his eyes flashed with a strong killing intent. Go. The King of the Sea, who originally wanted to open his blood basin and swallow the three Lin Wuya's disciples and grandsons together, felt Lin Wuya's gaze at the moment, his eyes gradually shrank, and then he seemed to see something terrible, fled into the sea. Master too. That's amazing. The boss of Zoro and Kuina with small mouths, Master Tai scared the king of the sea away with just one look. It's okay now. Lin Wuya turned and looked at Zoro and Kuina kindly. Hum. Zoro and Kuina nodded, then Zoro said to Lin Wuya, Master, let's get on the boat. Why? Stop swimming. Lin Wuya asked. Zoro shook his head. Stop swimming, I'm afraid my life will be gone if I swim further. Okay. Then let's get on the boat. Carrying Zoro in one hand and Kuina in the other, Lin Wuya slammed his feet against the sea. With the help of the strong recoil of the sea, Lin Wuya returned to the boat with an arrow. Huh. I was really scared to death just now. Zoro returned to the boat and patted his chest. He didn't expect that he would meet the king of the sea here. That guy can eat people without spitting out bones. He knew that if it weren't for being too master, this time I'm afraid he and Kuina. It has become the mouth Chinese food of the king of the sea. That's right. Master, what did you just do to it, you scared it away with just one look? Zoro asked Lin Wuya. When he asked, Kuina became curious too. In their impression, the king of the coast is very powerful, and fishermen usually flee away from it in fright when they see it, but Lin Wuya scared it away with just a look, which made Zoro and Kuina curious. This is too far away for you, you will know when you grow up. Lin Wuya smiled. He used conqueror's hockey to frighten the king of the seas before but this is something that cannot be achieved by cultivation, it is innate. Although Zoro and Kuina have high potential, they did not have the qualifications to awaken conquerors from the original work, so Lin Wuya did not tell them conquerors hockey. Furthermore, even if you tell them, Zoro and Kuina may not understand what they are thinking now. 